Hey everyone, in today's video, we are going to craft a fascinating logo from very start to the finish. We will design a logo for a brand specializing in guided meditations for sleep and relaxation. To design our logo, we will proceed with the steps of design brief, mind mapping, sketching, vectorizing, etc. So without any further delay, let's continue with the design brief. First of all, we have the brand name, which is Zen Vibes. The next one is, what was the idea behind the name? And the client says, that Zen Vibes combines Zen, reflecting tranquility and inner peace, with Vibes, suggesting positive energy and vibrations. And the next one is, what are your key services? And client says that guided meditations for sleep and relaxation, sleep stories and calming music to facilitate restful sleep, guidance on law of attraction and manifestation techniques. And the next question is very important. Do you have any specific imagery or icons that you want to include or that you want to make sure not to include? And the client says that we are interested in symbols related to meditation, such as lotus flower, zen circle, or a figure in a meditation pose. Also, not very keen on this one, but maybe a quartz crystal. We want to avoid from the complex or cluttered designs that may distract from the calming effect. By using these points, let's continue with the mind mapping process. Now the important keywords that I extracted from the design brief. First of all, we have a lotus flower, quartz crystal, zen circle, yoga or you can say a meditating figure, positive energy, relaxed sleep, law of attraction and law of manifestation. To represent the positive energy, we can use elements like a sun. And to represent relaxed sleep, we can use keywords like night, stars, moon, or we can also use a smile to represent relaxed sleep. For the law of attraction, we can use elements like a heart symbol. And the last one is manifestation. We can use keywords like eye, spotlight, or a magnifying glass. Now, by keeping these points in mind, let's continue with the sketching process. We are done with the sketching process and it's time to choose the final sketch. I really like this one because it represents the number of elements. And the one element that I forgot to mention is a heart. The upper part of the body represents an inverted heart that represents the law of attraction. And to design our logo, let's refine this sketch. Now I simply took a picture from my mobile and to convert this sketch into a digital design let's switch to Adobe Illustrator. First of all in Adobe Illustrator go to file select new. Then select the units to pixels, select the width of your page to 1920 and height to 1080 pixels. Then select ok. Now if your Illustrator preview isn't appearing like this then simply go to this workspace menu and select essentials classic. Now we will place our image on this artboard. So go to file, select place. Simply select the destination where you have saved your image. Select it, then select place. And drag the cursor from this intersection point to this one. Now reduce the value of opacity to 15%. Then go to window and select layers. Click on this drop down menu, select this image layer and click on this space to lock it. Now simply press Z and zoom in this area. Before initiating the design process, simply go to view, 
then go to rulers and select show rulers and simply drag a reference line at this position now select the pen tool simply click once at this position at this one this one this one and finally at the reference line simply press enter to complete the shape and now select the selection tool select this shape and to apply it a stroke color simply go to this menu and apply it this red color and increase the value of stroke width to four points and also reduce its opacity to 50 percent now select this reference line and simply press delete then select this shape select the direct selection tool select these nodes and click on this icon which says convert selected anchor points to smooth also select this anchor point and again click on this icon. Now we will utilize these handles to adjust the geometry. Select only this anchor point and simply drag this handle in a straight line by holding down the shift key. Also for this one, like this. Then select this anchor point, drag this right handle and also this left one. Then select this anchor point, hold down the shift key and change the position of this handle to horizontal. If you want to change the position of any anchor, then simply select the anchor and use the arrow keys on your keyboard. I think that we are good to go with this shape. Then select the width tool and simply increase the width from this anchor point. Now press Z and zoom in this area. Again select the width tool and from this anchor point slightly reduce the value of the width and increase the width from this anchor point also from this one once you are done simply select the selection tool hold down the alternate key to make a copy then select this reflect tool select vertical axis then select ok again select the selection tool and drag it at this anchor point now simply reset the page view by pressing Ctrl plus 0. Now again press Z and this time zoom in this area. Again select the pen tool, click once at this position, then at this one, at this position, this one and finally at this one. Simply press enter to complete the shape. Select the value of stroke width through 4 points and reduce the opacity to 50%. Select the direct selection tool, select these anchor points and simply click on this icon which says convert selected anchor points to smooth. Also for this one, like this. And adjust the position of these handles by holding down the shift key. Simply select this anchor point then press the left arrow key on your keyboard to adjust its position. Also for this one and for this one. Now we can simply play with these handles to adjust the geometry as per our choice. Once you are done, simply select this shape, then select the width tool and increase the width of this line from this anchor point. And from this anchor point, we will simply reduce the width. Again, we will increase the value of width from this anchor point. Now press Z and zoom in this area. Again, select the width tool and slightly increase the value of width from this anchor point and also increase the value of width from this anchor point. Now select the selection tool, hold down the alternate key and drag this shape to make a copy. Then go to reflect tool, select vertical axis, then select OK. Again go to reflect tool, this time select horizontal axis, select OK. Then select the selection tool and drag this shape like this. Press Ctrl plus 0 to reset the page view. Select both of these shapes and slightly rotate this one in clockwise direction. Once you are done, simply select all of these shapes, go to object, select path and then select outline stroke. Then go to window, select pathfinder, then select only these shapes and select unite. Also these two and select unite. Then select both of these shapes, simply go to align and select horizontal align center. Now press Z and zoom in this top area. 
then select delete anchor point tool and delete these anchors again select the direct selection tool select both of these anchor points and simply drag this icon to make rounded edges press ctrl plus 0 to reset the page view select the selection tool and simply reduce the dimensions of the shape now we doesn't need this reference image so simply go to window select layers and click on this icon to hide it and increase the value of opacity to 100% and now to write the logo name simply select the text tool left click and simply write zen vibes and then change the font to playfair and simply select playfair display medium then go to character and increase the value to 200 points This is the horizontal layout of our logo design. Let's check the feasibility of our logo in stacked layout. You may have a different opinion, but I think that the logo is working much better in this layout. And it's time to apply the logo colors. First of all, select the icon, then go to this color menu and apply the color value to EA8C7E. Select OK. Then select this name by holding down the shift key. Again go to this color menu and this time apply the value of color code to 5C5353. Once we are done with the logo design, we must have to provide the client with this visual. So client can understand the logical reasoning and background story behind their logo. And with this, we are done with today's logo design process. If you think that this video helps you in any way then consider liking and subscribing. Thank you very much for your time and have a nice day.